high glow in five words would definitely be um, glowing, um, gorgeous, bronzed, silky, that's four, um, shimmery. My top tips for faking a glow during winter would definitely be to use high glow, obviously. Um, but just picking up the glow where, it's, where it would naturally happen. So down your, your nose, your eyebrow bone, your cheekbone, your cupid's bow, and also your collarbone is important. And don't wear a matte foundation. Keep, try and keep it as dewy as possible. Marvin is so uninterested in beauty. I really, he's one of those annoying people that has like great skin and does nothing for it. Um, no, I always try and sort of say, oh, here's a nice face wash, but he's just really not, not into it. My favourite high glow product changes a lot. At the minute, my skin feels really dehydrated, so I'm using the sheet mask quite often just to keep myself moisturised. Um, but I'd say, all in all, the Radiance and Glow body cream is becoming a bit of a cult product, and I take it everywhere with me. I'd go an exercise class in the gym, because I, I like company, but I don't like the gym, but I just don't like to be on my own. Curls. This is me of 2018. Before now, I would say straight, but um, it's taken me a long, point, long time to get to this point, and I'm happy with my curls now. My favourite product to use for curly hair at the minute um, is a product called Cantu, I love. And um, I've actually used the um, shampoo and conditioner, which is Superdrug's own make, and it's the, the black caster one, which is brilliant. I've been using that at the minute. Moisturiser. I think it would be a bad place to live in this world if, if we weren't moisturised. I don't think it's a secret, he definitely knows this, but I think Anthony Joshua's gorgeous. Where is it? In my handbag right now is always a lip balm, um, some water, my phone, and like just a load of like miscellaneous stuff that I don't really know why they're there, but it's loads of change and annoying stuff rattling around on the bottom of my back. My most embarrassing beauty moment ever is probably using the wrong colour foundation. I'm sure of what to what colour actually matches my skin and sort of you know doing the whole the really light under the eyes and it, it was never a good look for me. My biggest beauty inspiration, I would say, is Jessica Alba. I don't think she ever puts a foot wrong. She always has just beautiful looking skin, but without looking like she's wearing too much makeup, I think she gets the balance really right. Advice I would give to my younger self would probably be, don't worry, like, you know, there's a plan in the end. There's, a, I think you worry about what you're gonna do and what you wanna be. I think, um, yeah, don't worry, it'll all work itself out in the end. Now, this is a tricky one. Uh, this isn't a quick fire answer because it depends if it's on scenery, food, or face. If it's on face, I don't like to filter, I just like to do a little bit of brightness and a bit of saturation. This is getting technical now. At the minute, I, everyone I seem to follow is a curly blogger because I'm going through this whole transition of like getting my curls back and I just like to see product reviews. And so at the minute, everyone's a curly blogger. This is a hard one because I think you should just cherish your baby skin for as long as possible. So I'm probably going to be constantly rowing with them, but I want them to leave it as long as possible until they need it. I mean, different if there's like a spot or something to cover, but yeah, I think fresh skin is the way forward. I, I, I'm a real, I, I put makeup on and then I wipe it off, if that makes sense. So I'll put my foundation on and then I just sort of like put my hands all over my, I just don't like it to look like it's caked. I spent a long time in a girl band wearing heavy stage makeup and I just sort of like my skin to be able to breathe and look like that. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. We did, we won um, best ethnic um, brand and best ethnic product at the um, Pure Beauty Magazine Award, which was amazing. Um, it's such a lovely compliment. We're, at, we're a very new brand. We, we're not even a year old yet. So to be bagging an award in our first 
six months was like a really special thing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.